rich maritime traditions are part of India's glorious history. A vast coastline of 7,500 kilometers is dotted with 12 major ports and over 200 non-major ports. It stands in the center of the busy Indian Ocean trade route. The country is also blessed with over 14,000 kilometers of functional and developing navigable waterways. India has a flourishing merchant marine fleet. About 95% of the country's trade by volume and 68% by value is moved through maritime transport. Over a quarter of the world's ship recycling is undertaken at yards in India, complying with global norms on environment and safety standards. To unlock the full potential of coastal and inland waterways of the country, the government has launched an ambitious Sagar Mala program. Sagar Mala is expected to spur port-led development of the country with about 610 projects in the pipeline, amounting to a likely investment of 113 billion US dollars. It is anticipated that by the year 2030, the cargo handling capacity of all ports in India will need to be doubled. Cruise tourism has been identified as high potential growth area by the government. Strong policy directives are creating the necessary infrastructure for domestic as well as international cruise tourism. As a result, the islands in the Indian territories are rapidly turning into popular tourist destinations. India is the third largest global supplier of seafarers. The high training standards and effective maritime administration make the Indian seafarers amongst the most sought after and the best in the world. To encourage participation of women in maritime sector, the government has taken steps such as scholarships and financial assistance for lady cadets at the training institutes. Leadership camps are held for cadets to boost team building and make them psychologically strong. Indian Maritime Administration is playing a lead role in the region by providing state-of-the-art navigational and communication facilities covering the entire Arabian Sea, Bay of Bengal and northern parts of the Indian Ocean. India has developed its own Indian Regional Navigation Satellite System IRNSS, capable of providing position information which is expected to be a part of worldwide radio navigation system. A 24 by 7 Lone Range Identification and Tracking System LRIT National Data Center at Mumbai offers services to Indian merchant fleet as well as other member states desiring services of LRIT. Indian Navy and Coast Guard are providing round-the-clock rescue and assistance services in and around Indian Ocean area and are a part of anti-piracy fleet operating in this ocean region. In accordance with IMO guidelines, the Government of India is promoting some ambitious environmental projects such as beach cleaning, green ports, prevention of single-use plastic, shore-based power supply, etc. As a responsible key member state of IMO, India is committed to uphold high maritime standards and traditions which get reflected in its strict adherence to international conventions, protocols and industry practices. With a robust infrastructure and firm government support, India is on a safer, cleaner and richer maritime voyage.